If you're going to Cincinnati, getting tickets to the zoo is a pretty straightforward process, and I'm going to show you how to get them. So first, you need to go to the Cincinnati Zoo's website, which I've linked in the description below. And once you're on the website, you're going to click on tickets just right here. It's going to then open up to this page. And when you scroll down just a little bit, you can see here we've got general admission and member guest tickets. If you're a member, you probably already know what member guest tickets are. If you're just visiting the zoo, you're going to want to click on general admission. And it's going to open up to this tab here where we have the different options. You can do admission and Kanga climb. You can do admission and the train. Standard admission, good any day admission. This is good if you want to be flexible. Twilight admission, that's basically entering after a certain period. Wild encounters, uh, you would need to purchase admission as well. And any rentals you might want or gift cards. So in this demonstration, I'm just going to select admission. You can see here we have adult, child, and senior. So I don't want to call it dynamic pricing, but it kind of is. So on some days, the zoo might be cheaper than others. So I'm going to click on select date. And you can see here that some dates are cheaper than others. So I'm just going to pick a random date here and it's showing me availability. And I want to click on zoo visit reservation. So I've selected this for the 22nd for one adult and I need to indicate that here. So I'm going to click on one and then I want to add a child. So make sure you pick the, the same date. I'm going to click on that 22nd and then I'm going to add zoo visit reservation and I'm going to take one child. So I'm just going to press this button here. Now I don't want to add anything else to my purchase. So then I'm going to click add to cart. And it's going to take me to my cart and I'm just going to verify that everything is correct. I've got the dates, the timings, the right number of people. And then I'm going to scroll on down. And if you want to make a donation, you can do so here. And then scroll on down. You're happy with everything and click check out. Now here again, it's going to show you your total and it's going to email you purchase confirmation. When you go to the zoo, basically, they're going to include some information in your email about your tickets. I see most people, they do just show their phone. They'll have like a QR code. You will see queues of people going up to the window to purchase tickets. Um, also, you can either pay by credit card or PayPal. Here, you're going to fill in your billing information and your payment info. And then you're going to click submit order. Now, you're then going to get an email once your payment goes through. And just take a note here, like if you have a Yahoo email address, it does say that they have some issues and there's an email there if you do need to contact them and you've not received your tickets. So when you go to the zoo, you'll see signs for different parking and parking is an extra $10 at the time of this video's recording. And they have basically kiosks where you can pay. They only take a card. You can pay out on exit. However, I will say that if you pay when you exit the zoo, like physically in your car at the gate, you are going to hold up quite a bit of traffic. You will see a long queue of people and it will be somebody who realizes that they haven't paid and they have to pay and their card isn't working. So you'll see some kiosks by the zoo entrance slash exit that will allow you to prepay your parking. So you're going to go, you're going to have a great time. Hopefully you see Fiona and her family and that's it. It's that easy.